After a prolonged rally in the Euro USD, we are seeing the signs of fatigue creeping in in the Euro USD, and it increasingly looks like in a overbought territory. So in uh, today's session of market movers, we will be trying to exploit these uh, emerging scenarios and we will try to find out if there are any trading opportunities for us to get involved in uh, today's session. If you consider the trading context for the day, the main headlines which are dominating the market moves are the ongoing Brexit talks which are in the final stretches we are going to have the make or uh, break scenario playing out either we will have some conclusive some approachable uh, deal or uh, we will have the falling apart so this is going to be the key theme for uh, this week and uh, those who trade in the british pound you will have to watch out for the implied volatility the rising coronavirus infections are also taking a toll and uh, the possibility of prolonged lockdown and again even in uh, the places where the lockdowns were lifted earlier there also the possibility is emerging that we will see the ramp down and again that will result in the decrease in economic activity and that is also going to have a heavy on the market participants mind and uh, not to forget uh, the possibility of us imposing face sanctions on the people involved the officials involved in the ramp down on the hong kong protest is also going to sour the ties between the us china which are already strained and uh, we need to watch out on that front also so this week we have plenty of things on our plate and we will have to keep our eyes and ears open and uh, see how things uh, now if you consider the data rocket there wasn't much on the data rocket for the day apart from the trade balance data for china and uh, this is the phenomenal that china has able to achieve this highest trade surplus in almost uh, 1981 and this is mainly being driven by the phenomenal rise the record rise in the export at the same time the imports are not rising much and uh, as a result of that this gap between the exports and imports has widened and we have more than uh, 70 billion us dollars worth of trade surplus for china for the month of november now moving on to the technical front, we will cover the Euro USD first and then see what's happening in the USD JPY. Let's start with the Euro USD technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart for the Euro USD, and this uh, rise has been nothing less than phenomenal, almost 500 pips rally from its uh, near term bottom of around 1.16, and now we are almost trading closer to this. Uh, 1.21 that is more than 500 pips and uh, for last week we had this uh, break on the upper side and uh, this prior resistance 0.20 stands finally broken and i think from a near term perspective we are not really likely to see the fall below these uh, key levels and even if the retracement happens and for next couple of days if we see sideways momentum the market moves might uh, rather be limited to this uh, territory on the higher side and on the lower side this uh, fibonacci retracement of around 23.6 percent will be the key area to watch out for and i am expecting even if the decline happens the near term support to come into play around prior swing highs and uh, 1.20 would be the crucial support moving forward right now after this prolonged rally there is this uh, possibility emerging after this uh, price action which has been subdued for last two sessions so we will uh, try to capitalize on these uh, changing scenarios here and if you consider the lower time formations the regression curve is uh, still steeply inclined on the upper side but one thing to watch out for is that uh, this uh, price action has now moved in the low band of this regression curve and that is going to have the impact on this uh, steep incline and in due course of time if the price action remains in the lower band we will see further flattening of the regression curve and that will also signal the possible 
2000 phase of consolidation unfolding in the euro area okay. on the euro point series we have this uh, first resistance which was reached earlier and now it is acting as the shorter term support area and we have this uh, minor support play around 1.08 and if we are looking for a scalping opportunity i think this is the price area which we can target if we are able to get any shorting opportunity closer to this price action formation which can be exploited using the lower time frame chart of the hourly on the lower time frame chart we have this uh, formation which looks like the head and shoulder pattern we had this uh, consolidation Closer to 1.214, and then this break. And uh, today we saw it uh, failing to cross above it, and then this steep decline. And I think for near term, that is going to impact the trajectory of the euro USD. And uh, in the consolidation phase, we might see these uh, bearish turns remaining that opens up the window for us to go for short selling opportunities. Anyway, closer to this uh, immediate swing high, this is going to be the key area to watch out for, and that's why I have drawn this line. And uh, we can utilize this uh, price range around 1.214 to look for fresh charting opportunities, of course, after due consolidation while keeping the stop losses anywhere above this uh, prior uh, swing high, the high established in this uh, rally, which is uh, just little below the 1.218 mark so for a risk of around uh, 40 pips we will be able to target almost 70 to 80 pips on the lower side and uh, the risk reward ratio is also going to be in our favor as we are going for a risk reward ratio at the minimum which should be at 1 is to 2 now moving on to the usd jpy we will USD JPY has been in the bearish trajectory for the uh, last couple of months and uh, nothing much seems to have changed for the USD JPY. Even in today's session, we are going to look for the short selling opportunities. The only thing which we can uh, look for is uh, the optimum entry and exit points. Apart from that, the trend remains bearish. So on that front, we don't really have to worry much but of course uh, the things can change any time and uh, because of that the stop loss is the only thing which we can rely on apart from that we will uh, only be relying on the probability and the probability looks good so we will try to exploit these uh, changing dynamics for the US APY after these uh, two uh, kind of similar swing high formations we have this uh, break below the uh, central pivot point of this month's pivot point series the uh, regression curve is again starting to bend on the lower side after almost sad moves for the uh, last couple of weeks and uh, that gives us more hope for uh, shorting the USD JPY and I feel as long as the USD JPY is uh, holding well below this uh, pivot point the central pivot point of this month's pivot point series we can be fairly confident of uh, making profit in the short sale trade whereas on the higher side this uh, immediate swing high can be utilized as our possible stop loss in the event of going short in the USD JPY watch out for the price range anyway closer to 104.3 to 104.4 while uh, utilizing this uh, price formation this prior swing highs as our possible market for any trend reversal so if we want to go for a starting opportunity, I think the targets can be kept closer to this uh, immediate uh, swing low, which is uh, there around 1 point, sorry, 103.6. And uh, this is the price range where we have this confluence of 100 and 200 SMAs converging closer to 104.2. And uh, at the same time, we also have these uh, prior swing lows, which are likely to act as the near term resistance. So we have multiple resistance zones coming and, uh, play around this price area of 104.3 to 104.4. And in today's session, if we don't really see a fresh break above that possible price zone, then I think uh, we can uh, go for shorting opportunities and uh, as I said, the target can be kept closer to this uh, prior swing low. So we are uh, targeting almost uh, 
70 to 80 pips on the lower side and uh, for the wrist we will uh, be utilizing this uh, prior swing high and i think for a risk of around uh, 70 pips we can uh, afford to keep a stop loss of around uh, 35 to 40 pips and uh, if we are going for uh, shorting here the price range of around 104.6 to 104.7 can be our uh, stop loss range and if the price uh, does rise above that then that will indicate the uh, possible uh, turn around in the usd gpy from the short term perspective and that will be the clear indication for us to the changing sentiments in the usd gpy so price if uh, rises above that we will be getting out of the trade and uh, then in due course of time we might even take fresh look on uh, the usd gpy trades so that's it from my side for uh, today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided have a blessed day ahead thank you for joining in do subscribe to our because of your webinar channel goodbye